and today we are doing a new video and a series too. I hope you're gonna watch these with us and have fun. And uh, yeah, we are doing a series called Kendama How To. And if you want to wonder what I'm using, I'm using a plain color, uh, sweets kendama. Don't believe me? Oh, and for the tip, I put a little glue so the point doesn't get all messed up. I can do that all day. So, yeah. So, so let's get this video on. Hunter, wouldn't it be a perfect day for an inspector? Uh, yes. Who are you? Hi. Come on in. Hey, this is actually my room, people. Yeah, I know. Okay, time to get this video on. So, so the first thing... We're going to be teaching you is the basics. Uh, the basics are going to be big cup. Like if you're wondering than, why, I'm better than him. Big cup, small cup, smaller. Small cup is the smaller version. And if you're righty, big cup should be facing up, and the small cup. should be coming that way. You get what I mean? Big okay. Cup. So, small cup, cup, big cup, base cup, and spike. We're not going to teach you dry spike this video though yet. Because that's going to be a little harder for you guys. Okay, if you're watching this. So I'll just show you all the tricks before I do them. So, first trick. Second trick is right here. <laughs> you failed with my cup. And then base cup. Well, you don't have to hold it like this. You could also hold it like this. Yeah, you show them the holding ways why I get the camera already. Also, you can hold it like this. There like upside down like that but my opinion I think it's easier to do this to spike yeah so if you get used to this that's better make it a lot easier and uh, spike looks, everything. we're gonna do spin spike for you guys so you spin the ball with the spinning it and you spike. yeah okay and I failed that's how you're gonna do it yeah. okay so the first trick we're gonna teach you is big cup so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it still okay I'm just gonna demonstrate yeah no spinning spike that doesn't spin. Okay. So you're gonna go down and bring it up. Wait, and you're gonna catch it on a big cup. Why to spin? Yeah, it gives it makes it so it's not all falling everywhere. Yeah, if if you spin, then the hole will stay facing down onto spike. Okay, but for a big cup, uh, yeah, so you go down, up, and you make it on. And you kinda wanna bend your knees. I didn't right there because I'm weird. You're gonna want to do this. Look. You get that? And it's the same with all the cups. You can hold it like this, or you can switch it like that. I personally hold it like this. So you go down, and you go up. And you just make it. Okay, you go down, any way you want to hold it. And you go okay, up. Okay, so I'm gonna do all the cups and spike. Oh god. Also called around the world. Small cup, big cup, this cup. Oh my god. And uh, for Spike. the Kendama users that already know this, you don't have to, you can skip. <coughs> for this yeah. part, don't watch this video uh, if you are. Uh, if you a are a beginner and you hold it like this, you're holding it Ken flip wise. You're going to want to hold it like this. Right, so your thumb's going to be right there. Or you can, for spikes, like dry spikes and spinning spikes, you, you can, can hold it with your finger. thumb right there. Or you can even do this. Yeah, even. Okay, so and the next trick is spike. So what you're gonna do? Spin. Put your finger that way. So you can this one. And go down and up. There Remember, you go. bend your. Hey, knees. I thought you said no spinning on your sweets. That's for you. For well, me. I know how to get it out too. <laughs> uh, dry spike. So Based yeah, spike. Now that's it for the beginners video, and we should also, yeah, okay, see Yay. ya, bye.